when we talk about flow pattern, okay. So actually, there are uh, three things here. There is something called flow. There is something called task, and there is something called flow task. Okay. Flow, flow task, and task. Task is nothing but the actual operation. What you're doing means task may can be a report or submitting some process. That is nothing but a task. Right. Okay. There is something called flow. Flow means uh, how it looks in the UI, the the UI part of the like the parameters and all. Okay. Okay. Right. Now. This flow, flow task is used to link a flow with a task. Right. Okay. Okay. Flow. Flow means what you see in the UI, the parameter set of parameters and all those things. Okay, that is nothing but a flow. And there is something called task. Task is nothing but the actual uh, process. What you are going to do? Uh, it can be a report submission or payroll submission or, or uh, whatever it may be, it can be an extract submission, uh, it will be a flow. Now you have to link this task with the flow, it is done using flow task. Okay. Okay. Now when I talk about an extract definition, when I talk, when I talk about an, uh, when I take the example of extract definition, so you have the uh, extract parameter set, whenever you create an extract definition, it will create some parameter set, right? default parameter set. Right? Right. Plus, you'll you'll add few additional parameters as well. Like if you uh, there are some default parameters which the infrastructure provides. Plus, you'll add some new parameters. Okay. So all those set of parameters what you have. Okay. So for each of these three things, there are some, there are parameters for each of these three things. Okay. So there will be. Parameter flow parameters, right. okay. Task parameter and flow task parameter. Flow okay. parameter, flow task parameter, and task parameter. Mm -hmm. Fine. So it's nothing but uh, you create UI. You will be having some parameters, right? Uh, let's say uh, there were some. Uh, Additional parameters. If you, if you have observed there, there is, a, there is something called report category ID or a legis legislative data group ID, some request ID. Those were before parameters which were created uh, as part of that uh, uh, infrastructure. It, it created by uh, on its own, right? Now, whatever may be the parameters created, okay. What this infrastructure does is it creates the same set of parameters in all the, for all the three sets. Uh, let's say you are having five parameters for extract. Now, when a corresponding uh, flow pattern is uh, created, okay, it creates five flow parameters, five task parameters, and five uh, flow task parameters. Okay, but in the UI, you need not uh, show all, right? It's not required. Uh, as yesterday we saw, right? We need, need only effective date, start date, and some uh, something like say some person. Uh, you you are you are running it based on some person number or something, right? Mm -hmm. So in that case, uh, what happens is you uh, uh, you can just go to the flow parameter and you can hide the parameters. Okay, hide, add, and allow everything you do it in the flow bar. This is what you see in the UI. These are something which are in the which are present in the back end. Okay. okay, this is what you see on the screen flow parameters. So here you can play with, uh, play around like uh, adding in LOV or uh, adding uh, what do I say uh, hiding that or making it as a mandatory. All these things you can do it here. Okay. Now uh, for each of the flow parameter, okay, you'll be having corresponding task parameter and like uh, what is the corresponding of uh, uh, the task parameter for this flow parameter, you determine it in the flow task parameter. Flow task parameter will link this flow parameter to the task parameter. Means whatever value you have it here, right? It has to be passed here. Let's say you're passing some date in the UI. It has to go to the task, right? 
so that the task can use that parameter and can do the processing. Now, right. from so whenever you pass the flow parameter in the UI, okay, it does not. What happens is it goes to the corresponding flow task. Okay, it, it will check. Okay, what are the flow task parameters? And it will check for this corresponding flow parameter. What is the task parameter linked? Okay, and it will pass the value to this one so that the process will take this and it will do the processing. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'll just we'll see some uh, sample flow patterns. I'll show you. So for doing uh, for checking that, what I'll do is. Uh, Okay, you need to go to checklist. Okay, navigator checklist. Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, you're opening it right now. All right. Yes. So there is something called manage flow patterns. You see here, right? Yesterday we created an extract with this name, right? Right. With the same name, it will create a flow pattern for you. Right. So okay. by default, when you run, it creates a flow pattern. Yes. Whenever you create an extract, it will automatically create a flow pattern for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, I'll say. Now I is, I click on edit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can see here. Uh, I'll edit. See there are groups here. Okay. Okay, there are groups where you can see that. Okay. If you say HCM extracts, okay, uh, you will see that uh, you can submit this from. Uh, data exchange work area and checklist this particular process okay when you say calculate okay you can submit that from payroll calculation in the in payroll calculation you can submit a process report okay all right it will appear but, uh, see when we created our task i mean the, the uh -huh. extract which we see of course chose chose what sort of extract it is and we chose mm -hmm. it as an SCA extract no, no, within HCM, we are having different uh, things, right? Uh, like uh, we are having, uh, so there will be some different tasks available here, right? Let's say, I'll show here. Uh, you're in the payroll, you're having, you're having all this payroll calculation, distribution, accounting, regulatory and tax reporting. You're having everything, right? All these things, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, all these tasks may be not be available to all users. Right, okay. All right. Okay. Now you can restrict. Now let's say a user is having only this payroll calculation uh, work area. Okay, so uh, he cannot submit the report if I select that as, select as distribution here. If I select that as distribution here, sorry, payments payment will come there. If I say payments there, then it will it will see payment distribution, right? So. Right. Uh, the 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 person having only this payroll calculation, he cannot submit this process. So he will not he not be act, having access to this. One. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So this is what. So for now, I'll say HCM extracts. So if you say a group. So you can say calculate payments, distribution, payment correction. So what is the group of the task group? What is this made for? Okay. Then, okay. Uh, so see, most of the payment type activities are usually done by Oracle itself. Yes. The payroll process. Yeah, yeah, they'll do that. But if you want some something, they've given that. If you want from your side. Okay. All right. If you have some process. Okay. Okay. Give me an example where user will have to create something like this. Uh, 
Right. Okay. Once this extract is completed, just end the flow. Right. 